What is your take on Say Cheese and what it is to the culture right now? It's the it's it's the it's the biggest the biggest blog in music. Um it's done so much for me. Absolutely. It's done so much for me. Me too. Um it's man, it's um somebody that, that if, if it's somebody that's looking forward to something, that's something to look forward to. You know Absolutely. what I mean? It's so much information. Um it's so much everything. You get everything there. I feel like Sean is in a position to become Jeff Bezos of hip hop. Okay. That's wow. And the reason why I say that, say cheese is the Amazon of rappers. Mm -hmm. Labels virtually can just go here and go shopping yeah. for the type of artists they look for. And just like Amazon, you get on there and look for one thing and a bunch of suggestions and stuff pop up that you weren't even looking for. Definitely. Same thing happens. I can see that happening on Say Cheese. Mm -hmm. Like a guy probably like, man, you know, I need a label or a &R, like I need to find a trap artist. And then they come across something that's completely far field, right. far fetched. Right. Um, definitely a mainstay in the game, but I want to see who do you feel like can also come up on the heels of say cheese that you feel like blog or, um, if it's not a blogger or some type of, I guess, um, podcast or an interviewer, you feel like can kind of ca carve their own niche, man. You know, honestly, I think the, the margin is so wide. Like it's such a gap from say cheese to, to anybody mean, else, you know what I mean. Put I think a close it's, second. If you were to, if you was to put a close second, man, it's crazy because somebody like No Jumper does is is big in their own. Um, Vlad only does interviews. Um, I think, man, the the people that I've known the most that have made the most noise is real life street stars. Absolutely, there's not a face to that brand. Yeah. you know what I mean. And it's just I'm looking for them to diversify their content as more as well. Got you. Um, but man, you know, we we talked about Texas Global. Yeah. Um Dallas Global. Dallas Global, excuse me. We talked about them. We talked about there's uh who is it? Is is Texas Top 20 is another blog. Yeah, that's one coming up. Um, there's a lot of people, man, that, that can it just all depends on how they go about it. You know, Sean is one in a million. So if you were to rank most popular mm -hmm. between Sean, DJ Academics, mm -hmm. Vlad, um, uh, Adam 22, who are Who's the top ranking from top one to four? Mm, I'm going to say, let's see. Vlad probably, because Vlad interviews the most famous people. Okay. So a lot of times his interviews go farther. Absolutely. Um, then you probably, it's probably either Sean or Adam. Mm. Um, Adam has become a face here recently, but I mean, he's tapped into that kid market. He's tapped into that whole streaming live thing. Yeah. I mean, it's just like it's unbelievable. But I'm gonna go Sean second. Okay. Then I'll go Adam. Then I'll go academics. And no reason only only reason academics is even in that conversation is because he's been on TV the last what three years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and even then, like his his brand has fell off. Hmm. His brand has fell off. And it, what I, what makes you think his brand fell off? Um, I think aligning himself with Takashi for one. Hmm. Um, I think just his approach, his his narrative to music a lot of times, he's he's a dick rider, you know what I mean? Okay. And, and those other guys, they they're just they're being impartial, you know, and just obviously just and academics just isn't a likable person. You know, when you put a face to your brand, yeah, they're gonna come for you. Okay. And if you ain't a likable person, then that's when you start to take a dive. But don't get me wrong, he's still doing his numbers, but the only reason he's even in, the, in that stratosphere with the rest of them is because he's been on TV the last however long.